topic. Uh, last class we discussed about formal charge and the limitations of the octet rule and drawbacks of the octet rule. Now we are going to discuss ionic bond or electrovalent bond. Already the information of electrovalent bond given by Lewis Cousin theory. Uh, electrovalent bond means ionic bond. Ionic bond means the attraction occurred between two ions. The ion one is positive ion and second one is negative ion. Between these two ions, electrostatic attraction force will be arisen and ionic bond will be formed and ionic compounds are formed. The compounds of ionic bonded having crystalline structures. In this ionic bonding molecules are first one the following uh, sorry the formation of ionic bonds would primarily depend on them. So ionic bond formation only gave first of all primarily require primary requirements of formation of positive ion and second one is formation of negative ion. The formation of the positive ion and negative ion of the respective neutral atoms. The arrangement of these positive ion negative ions in ionic solid that is the lattice of the crystalline compound. The first two facilities of the formation of ionic bond here given. First one is the formation of positive ion and negative ion from its neutral atom. Second one is attraction occurred between positive and negative and crystalline substance are obtained. Crystalline structure, lattice structure will be obtained here. Lattice of the crystalline compounds means ionic compounds, ionic ions will form lattice of the crystalline compounds. The formation of positive ion involves ionization and removal of electron from the neutral atom and the and that of the negative ion involves the addition of neutral electron to the neutral atom. The simple already last class we discussed about this. Positive ion means the energy required to remove one electron from the valency shell of neutral atom. Neutral atom say one electron remove one electron to go ionization and current. Ionization and current. And when we add the electron to the valency shell of neutral atom, then that is known as electron gain. Electron gain. Means here two energies are required. One is ionization enthalpy, second one is electron gain enthalpy. Here ionization enthalpy always is in positive side, electron gain enthalpy having the value is negative side. Electro gain enthalpy. When this will be occur, when we add the electron to the neutral atom in valency shell, then energy will be released. Ionization enthalpy, energy will be absorbed. Energy absorbed over the positive side, energy release over the negative side. Number. For example, here we need one met one atom ionization enthalpy. When we remove one electron from the valency shell of this atom, we have requirement of ionization enthalpy. And another one, when we add to the when we add electron to the M, M is a neutral atom, then M minus one will be formed and here the energy release that is electron gain enthalpy. Electron gain enthalpy. Electron gain enthalpy is indicated with the electron gain enthalpy requirement of the Rupert electron ionization enthalpy requirement. Here the electron gain enthalpy delta E G H delta. EGH is electron gain enthalpy, delta IH is known as electron ionization enthalpy. The enthalpy change when a gas phase atom in its ground state gain an electron, the electron gain process may be exothermic or always endothermic and always endothermic. 
electron affinity is the negative of the energy change according to electron gain. It's simple. No need to switch up from this. So when we release electron, then energy will be required. When we add electron, it will be released. When energy will be released, that is known as exothermic reaction. So when energy will be absorbed, that is endothermic reaction or process. Here we are not conducting any reactions, only process occur. So that is exothermic process, endothermic. Endo means absorption, exo means releasing of energy. That is known as exo and endothermic process. And here the ionic bond will be formed more easily between elements with comparatively low ionization enthalpy and elements with comparatively high electronegative values, electron gain enthalpy. So simple. Ionic bond formed with facility first lower electron ionization enthalpy. Low ionization enthalpy and high electron gain enthalpy are more sufficient to form the ionic bond. So this is the ionization enthalpy value common to the ionization enthalpy, sorry, electron gain enthalpy value maximum. Lower ionization enthalpy, high electron gain enthalpy. When this situation will be occurred in the molecule, then ionic bond will be formed easily. And another one, most ionic compounds have cation, cations derived from metallic elements and ions form and non-metallic elements. And ions form from non-metallic elements and positive ion is known as cation. Positive, cation, negative, and anion. Anions are formed from non-metallic elements and cations are formed from metallic elements. And here, the ammonium and NH4 plus made up of two non-metallic elements is an exception. It forms the cation of a number of ionic compounds. The exception is NH4 plus. NH4 plus also one of the positive ion but here NH4 plus having two non-metallic elements. Hydrogen is not non-metal and nitrogen also is not non-metal. Uh, sorry, non-metal. NH4 plus. Nitrogen non-metal, hydrogen also non-metal but it forms cation, positive sign. These are the some exceptions cases of it. And next, ionic compounds, the crystalline state consists of ordering three dimensional arrangement of cations and anions held together by Coulombic interaction. And this, these compounds crystalline in different crystal structures determined by the size of the ions. Their packing arrangement and they practice the crystal structure of sodium chloride. Here, given first thing, when positive and negative ion will be formed by these two enthalpies, then these two ions will come near and Attraction will be occurred between these two ions. Electrostatic attraction post then ionic bond will be formed, and the substance is formed in the crystalline structure. Crystalline structure may form over crystalline structure may form over structures. Maximum three-dimensional structure. Now, if three-dimensional structure complete structure based on the size of the ions particular. Here now we are going to discuss one of the example for NECA. This crystalline structure substance is having more stable. So finally, ionic bond is more stable than any other bonds. So if you can see, the bonds only do. So sub bonds are compared to ionic bond, more stable. So the electrostatic attraction goes ions ki wajah se attraction hota. So attraction power maximum. We are going to discuss example of sodium chloride. It forms a lattice structure, and here we see it. In the ionic solids, the sum of the electron gain enthalpy and the ionization enthalpy may be positive, but still the crystal structure gets stabilized due to the energy releases in the formation of the crystal lattice, for example. So you have of course textbook material information here, the lattice structure of the sodium chloride to complete three-dimensional structure. Three-dimensional structure, this structure is known as the rod salt structure and here, the ionic solids, the sum of the electron gain enthalpy and the ionization enthalpy may be positive, but still the crystal structure gets stabilized due to the energy release in the formation of the crystal lattice. This one is very important point. So, the sum of the ionization enthalpy and electron gain enthalpy. Ionization enthalpy and electron gain enthalpy. 
इलेक्ट्रॉन गेनिंग कर रही है तो ये आयन एनिशन एंथैल्पी एनिशन पोटेंशियल बदल रही है आयन एनिशन एंथैल्पी प्लस इलेक्ट्रॉन गेनिंग कर रही है दिस वैल्यू इज बिकम पॉजिटिव दिस वैल्यू इज बिकम पॉजिटिव देन द क्रिस्टलाइन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आयनिक सॉलिड्स आर मोर स्टेबल तो एक्चुअली यहां पे ऑब्जर्व करो आयनाइजेशन एंथैल्पी वैल्यू इलेक्ट्रॉन गेन एंथैल्पी वैल्यू ऐड करने के बाद जो भी वैल्यू आता है वो पॉजिटिव वैल्यू है और पॉजिटिव वैल्यू मींस अब्जर्विंग एनर्जी पॉजिटिव मींस एनर्जी ऑब्जर्व किया स्टिल द आयनिक मॉलिक्यूल्स आर मोर स्टेबल बिकॉज़ ऑफ द आयंस फॉर्मूल दीस टू आयंस अट्रैक्ट इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक अट्रैक्शन फोर्स दैट्स व्हाई आयनिक मॉलिक्यूल्स आर मोर स्टेबल एग्जांपल बता दो तुम्हें सोडियम क्लोराइड फॉर्मेशन इन गेन तो आयनाइजेशन एंड एंथैल्पी ऑफ सोडियम इज 495.8 टीओजोल पर मोल तो इन गेन से लेकर इन गेन या सॉलिड से सोडियम मेटल है सॉलिड स्टेट में रहेगा तो इन गेन से लेकर इन गेन प्लस 1 इन गैस स्टेट द एनर्जी इज ऑब्जर्व हियर दैट इज फोरिन When we add one electron to this chlorine and we be followed with this gain minus n, the electron gain in the field of this reaction is minus three forty eight point seven minus three forty eight point seven kilo joule per mole. यहाँ पे chlorine chloride ion form हुआ और energy release हुआ that energy is 348.7 kilo joule per mole minus indicates to energy release last already explained the third topic when we add the electron then energy will be released when we release the electron then energy will be required so here 495.8 joule per mole 348.7 a release of the sum of these two values Four ninety five point eight plus minus three forty eight point seven. That is equals to one forty seven point one. One forty seven point one kilo joule per mole. So, ये दोनों का total value कितना होगा? Sum of these four. Energy total value, electron gain total value is equals to positive value one forty seven point one kilo joule per mole. ये is the more compensated for by the enthalpy of lattice formation of nacl now ye jo value hai for 147.1 kJ per mole is very lower value when one mole of sodium chloride lattice will be formed then the energy is released 7 kg kJ per mole सेवन डिग्री किलो जोल पर मोल हाँ तो यहाँ पे एक नोटिस करो यहाँ पे भी पॉइंट आपको थोड़ा प्रॉब्लम है तो वन मोल ऑफ सोडियम एनी एड्रेस फॉर्म होने के लिए इतना एनर्जी अब्जर्व हुआ वन मोल ऑफ क्लोरिक सीएल माइनस फॉर्म होने के लिए इतना एनर्जी रिलीज हुआ द सम ऑफ दिस टोटल वैल्यूज इज इक्वल्स टू पॉजिटिव वैल्यू सी एफ ये दोनों को पॉजिटिव वैन वन मोल ऑफ एनी एड्रेस मीन्स एनी एड्रेस सी एल माइनस तो ये इंडिविजुअल फॉर्म होने के लिए कितना एनर्जी रिलीज ऑब्जर्व होगा ध्यान से ऑब्जर्व करो इंडिविजुअल आयंस फॉर्म होने के लिए इतना एनर्जी ऑब्जर्व हुआ एंड इतना एनर्जी रिलीज हुआ क्लियर तो इन दोनों का सम ऑफ द वैल्यू कितना होगा 147.1 मींस इतना एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड है यहां पे एनर्जी रिक्वायरमेंट ही दिखा रहा है क्लियर तो इतना एनर्जी यहां पे रिलीज हुआ ऑब्जर्व हुआ तो दोनों को ऐड करेंगे तो Total requirement of energy is 147.1 kilojoule per mole. Only the formation of one mole of positive ion and one mole of negative ion. After formation of one mole of positive ion and negative ion, 
then these two ions try to attract with the electrovalent bond means electrostatic attraction force will be occurred and one mole of sodium chloride will be formed when the one mole of sodium chloride is formed from its positive ion and negative ion then energy will be released that energy is 780 kilo joule per mole 780 kilo joule per mole energy release hota hai yahan pe jo एनर्जी अब्जॉर्ब हुआ उससे कम कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे रिलीज होने वाला एनर्जी सेवन एटी एट तो यहाँ पे टोटल हम लोग को कितना एनर्जी देना पड़ेगा आयंस फॉर्मेशन करने के नेट रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एनर्जी इज वन फोर्टी सेवन पॉइंट वन किलो जॉल पर मोर बट आफ्टर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लैटिस ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड द एनर्जी इज रिलीज सेवन एटी एट किलो जॉल पर मोर दिस वैल्यू इज हायर दैन दिस वैल्यू दैट्स वाई the lattice structure of sodium chloride is more stable the final conclusion is this energy is known as lattice energy the ionic molecule which having more lattice energy that's the substance is more stable kyunki yahan pe positive negative form hone ke baad kitna energy release kar raha hai jitna energy release karega molecule pe utna activation energy kam ho jayega so means stability maximum तो वन एटी सेवन एटी किलो जोल पर मोल एनर्जी अपने से उतना एनर्जी को रिलीज कर दिया मतलब मैक्सिमम स्टेबल हो गया लैटिस इंटर जो वैल्यू जितना ज्यादा रहेगा उतना स्टेबिलिटी मैक्सिमम रहेगा लैटिस इंटर जो वैल्यू नॉट दिस वैल्यू दैट वैल्यू आफ्टर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लैटिस द एनर्जी विल बी रिलीज टू दैट इज नोन एज 7 एटी किलो जोल पर मोल ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड हियर दिस एनर्जी इज नोन एज लैटिस एंथैल्पी Lattice enthalpy of the molecule will be increased, then stability of the molecule will be increased. Lattice enthalpy of the molecule will be decreased, stability also decreases. So, यहाँ पे हम लोग ionic molecule को stability calculate करने के लिए lattice enthalpy को find out करते हैं. Lattice enthalpy maximum, then stability was maximum. Here, another one. Thus, the qualitative mean, uh, qualitative measure of the stability of any compounds is provided by its enthalpy of lattice formation, and not simply by achieving octet electron around the ionic species in gas state. So, simply octet form over the, uh, it does not explain the stability of the molecule. We can explain the stability of ionic molecules through the lattice enthalpy, lattice energy only. This lattice energy will be decided. Stability of the ionic molecules. And next one, we will discuss lattice enthalpy. This is lattice enthalpy. How lattice enthalpy means? Here, when one mole of sodium chloride will be formed, then this much of energy will be released. And here, the definition for lattice enthalpy. Lattice enthalpy. Lattice enthalpy means the energy required to break the ionic molecule into its ionic gases atoms. So one mole of ionic molecule to break करने के लिए जो energy requirement होता है that is known as lattice enthalpy. One mole of ionic molecule. For example, sodium chloride. Needs to form positive and negative and the energy requirement is seven eighty eight kilo joule per mole. Sodium chloride one mole lattice form होने के लिए seven eighty eight kilo joule per mole energy release होता है. Same sodium chloride को उसका ionic form में convert करने के लिए कितना energy requirement होता है? Seven eighty eight kilo joule per mole energy will be required. Here. The lattice enthalpy of an ionic solid is depend as the energy required to completely separate one mole of the solid ionic compounds into gases constituent ions. Gases form में convert करने के लिए जो energy requirement होता है वो lattice enthalpy होता है. Example: The lattice enthalpy of sodium chloride is 788 kilojoules per mole. This means that 788 kilojoules of energy is required to separate one mole of solid NaCl into one mole of Na plus and one mole of Cl to an infinite 
distance okay infinite distance for example yahan pe any base cn minus nk one mole of sodium chloride ko form kiya to lattice enthalpy 780 kJ per mole is released hua form karne ke liye one mole form ke liye utna energy release hua to one mole ko separate karo into its tiny form so any base lattice form any plus and cn minus to so separate its to इनफिनिट डिस्टेंस दोनों के बीच में कुछ अट्रैक्शन नहीं होना चाहिए मैक्सिमम दूर होना चाहिए तो देन रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एनर्जी 788 किलो जूल पर मोल दिस इज नोन एज लैटिस एंथैल्पी तो जिसका लैटिस एंथैल्पी ज्यादा रहेगा वो मोर अट्रैक्शन रहेगा तो स्टेबिलिटी मैक्सिमम दिस एनर्जी विल बी मैक्सिमम देन इट विल बी मोर स्टेबल दिस एनर्जी विल बी मिनिमम दिस एनर्जी विल बी लेस स्टेबल दिस इज द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट लैटिस एंथैल्पी तो फाइनल कंक्लूजन इज When the lattice enthalpy will be increased, the stability of the molecule will be increased. Lattice enthalpy will be decreased, the stability of the molecule will be decreased. Next topic is bond parameters. Next topic is next topic is bond parameters. Here, complete information about ionic bond, covalent bond, and lattice enthalpy. Was discussed here. The last class, अभी तक मतलब जो ये लेसन में जो discussion किए हैं, Lewis Cosell theory, ionic bonded molecules, covalent bonded molecules, octet rule, limitations of octet rule, and this last topic is lattice enthalpy. So lattice enthalpy is belongs to only for the ionic molecules only. Based on this, we can calculate the stability of the ionic molecules. But Octet rule does not explain the stability of the molecules and shape of the molecules. Here, ionic bonded molecules all are having crystalline structure shape explained by this and ionic molecule. That is, uh, let us enthalpy explain the stability of the molecule. And next one, we are going to discuss bond parameter. In this bond parameter, we will discuss first one bond length, bond angle, bond enthalpy, and another one is. Bond order and resonance, etc. First, we are going to discuss bond length, bond parameters. Bond parameters. First one is bond length. We are going to discuss first topic. In bond parameters, that is bond length. Bond length means the distance between two nucleus of the bonded molecule. Already molecule form हो गया. Molecule कैसे form होगा? Two atoms. Two atoms को nucleus के बीच में जो distance होता है वो bond length. This bond length is measured in picometers. Bond length को picometer में measure करते हैं. Example here. The bond length is defined as the equilibrium distance. The distance between the nucleus of two bonded atoms in a molecule. Bond lengths are measured by spectroscopic, X-ray diffraction and electron diffraction techniques, etc. And each atom of the bonded pair contribute to the bond length. In the case of covalent bond, the contribution from each atom is called the covalent radius of the atom. The bond length means the distance between two nucleus of the bonded molecules. The distance of two atoms of two nucleus is two atoms of bonded molecule. Bonded atoms means molecule. Molecule molecule में two atoms का nucleus का जो distance होता है ये bond length. This bond length was measured by different type of methods or the X-ray diffraction method. And spectroscopic method, etc. The bond length is bond length is the length of that picometers may measure that. Next year, the bond length is measured in the covalent molecule that is known as covalent bond length or covalent radius. The covalent radius to find the name is molecule is in covalent form. So two atoms forms. Covalent bond between them and the radius. How we will calculate the radius? 
first we calculate total distance at the bond length and divide by two. Then the distance at the radius of atom will be we can find. Means one atom ka radius ko find out kar sakte hain, other atom ka radius ko find out kar sakte hain. So yahan pe different different methods hain. So these two are here we are discussing these two are similar size atoms. Means same. एटम्स कोलेंट बॉल कॉम्बिनेशन करेंगे तो टोटल डिस्टेंस को डिवाइड बाय दो करेंगे तो रेडियस ऑफ एटम मिल जाएगा इन केस दिस वन इज होमोन्यूक्लियर डायटॉनिक मॉलिक्यूल फॉर एग्जांपल हेटेरोन्यूक्लियर डायटॉनिक मॉलिक्यूल्स आर देयर इन दिस हेटेरोन्यूक्लियर डायटॉनिक मॉलिक्यूल वन एटम साइज स्मॉलर साइज एंड अनदर एटम साइज इज बिगर साइज फॉर एग्जांपल हियर दिस वन इज एटम एंड अनदर वन एटम इज लार्ज साइज These are the heteronuclear diatomic molecule. Hetero means two different, but the total distance divided by two equal to the radius of the each atom is not correct because यहाँ पे distance तो ज़्यादा रहेगा इसका यहाँ पे इसका distance बहुत कम है divided by two करेंगे तो equal तो नहीं आ सकते हैं then how we will find the radius of these molecules when we find this molecules two methods are there to find the radius of this type of molecule first one for example this one is hcl and this one is h2 molecule okay ye ye method se calculate kar sakte hain other method hai other method bhi hai so ye method mein covalent molecule first is the similar atomic molecule ko dhoonna hai so similar atomic molecule for example hydrogen हाइड्रोजन का डिस्टेंस यहाँ पे रेडियस फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं। फॉर एग्जांपल इसका रेडियस 78 किलोमीटर से समझ लें। 78 किलोमीटर। फिर the total distance is 138 किलोमीटर। एग्जांपल बता रहा हूँ। तो यहाँ पे क्लोरीन हाइड्रोजन का डिस्टेंस 138 किलोमीटर। यहाँ पे ये यहाँ पे टोटल का नहीं है। Only radius of hydrogen is 78 किलोमीटर। Only हाइड्रोजन आइटम सेवल जो है इतना बड़ा है। 36 किलोमीटर से लेना हाइड्रोजन। दिस 36 किलोमीटर विल बी माइनस फ्रॉम दिस टोटल डिस्टेंस। इसमें से 36 माइनस कर दो। 36 माइनस करेंगे तो यहाँ पर आंसर बनो 102 किलोमीटर्स डिस्टेंस ऑफ क्यों? तो सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल को ढूंढने का, सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल हाइड्रोनिक्लियर मॉलिक्यूल में टोटल डिस्टेंस में से डिस्टेंस में से इसको माइनस कर दो आपको अगर एटम का रेडियस मिल जाए ओके तो नेक्स्ट मेथड आई विल डिस्कस टुमारो मेंस नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल एक्सप्लेन अदर मेथड टू डिस्कस टू पाइंट द बॉन्ड लेंथ बिटवीन कोलेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स